And as usual, that's it for the Pagan territory. I wonder if it's better to drop down out here. Sure seems like it might be. But, that thought is wrong, obviously. Let's just drop down in here like we usually do. wait until we can follow this guy out. wonder what got into those animals. Oh, the pagans have expanded their reach. Check this out. Because that's what happens when you plant the sapling. Bit well, on the green side, aren't you? Well, it certainly seems like one way or another the enforcer out here is dead. I was about to forget the copper coins up in this apartment. Because I was so confused by the sight of a pagan. So we'll get those coppers. And then I'm going to head for the sewers. Get the water arrow down here. Head back out. I think we're still... Pedestrians, that's always a worry when the enforcers are out. But maybe we're okay for now. Anyway, gas arrow up on the Us wall. Watching you, city head. That's fine. Fire arrow here. And there's a watchman. Okay. As things have changed in the docks now that I planted the sapling. Uh oh. Seems the enforcers are making trouble over on the. over in the tavern area, so. we might have some trouble here. And now I don't think I have time to get over there before this patroller becomes an issue again. But I should be able to get in behind him. Anyway. Very good, very good. Evening, officer. So we got that water arrow. And you'll notice the abysmal gale is still gone, but 
We've got guards on the docks again. I think they're here just to make sure the side mission is not easy. Now let's creep back to this corner. We'll get the two broad heads off that crate. get up to the tavern the old-fashioned way through the second floor. Oh, Garrett, come on. There we go. Don't fly, either. Good. With that done, we can move in through the window. And into the tavern. Well, here's our body. So, first things first, I'll go ahead and clean up the blood. Get the jade ring out of the chest. And let me see whether I want to go through the tavern or out the window with the body. We've got our usual copper fork and fire <laughs> arrow to round out our tavern loot. And with a dude standing right there, the window looks like the obvious choice for handling the body. So, let's do that. Let's grab our buddy's corpse here. Have to drop him on the crate, because Garrett can't mantle while he's carrying a body. Oh, now he's flying. Lovely. I just need you to get into the window, Garrett. itself is missing again. He can't even jump. <laughs> there. That's what I needed. I think... I can chuck the body into the water from up here, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, Damn it, Garrett. So anyway, yeah, you could just chuck the body into the water from the pipe, and no one will ever see you. And it's just a matter of managing not to fall. So let's close those shutters. And with that, our circuit is complete. All I need to do now is take the old quarter exit from the docks, pick up my payment for Ramian's job, and head into Aldale. Really, Stone Market was the only area that turned out to be a major problem. I'll do a real save now that my side mission is accomplished. I don't even know where the guard is. 
Oh good, I can just follow him. And then wait along one wall or the other until he heads back and I can slip out behind him. Ah, honestly! I it's like if you get too close to them, the game just pulls them into you, even when you're not seen or heard. Well, maybe I can just slip out behind him. Since not a watchman on the streets anymore anyway, it's just a pagan. Now this is smarter. <sighs> so, let's head to Old Quarter. But, Let's save on this side of the load zone, because you never know what will be waiting for you when you spawn. Sometimes the answer is nothing. Those are good times. Watch this. Aha! Thy death shall pay for thy sins. Why are the ham- Why is the hammerite attacking me? Okay, there's nobody- Nothing and nobody down here, which is good. Where art thou? I have to admit I'm confused. Huh. Well, the pagans are theoretically hostile to me again, but the last guy didn't alert. The Hammerites are supposed to be neutral, but this guy is attacking me on sight. What up with that? I don't know. But I need, do know I need to get past him, because there's no way I'm heading all the way through Stone Market again. Tis not enough to read the precepts. Any fool canst open a book. Tis the work of a lifetime to carry out the precepts, and canst not be done with a single reading. Later, bro. With that done, we can get our payment in the drop box outside the fences. As soon as that enforcer is elsewhere. Three piles of gold coins, 75 each. And it's time to head to Aldale. Brand new area. Oh, come on. Watchman standing right outside. He does pivot. Just... Oh, I can probably, I can probably take that edge and just climb down behind him. Let's do that. Assuming there's a way to get to that edge. Which honestly is proving a little troublesome. Hmm. 
right, let's try the pipes again. A lousy thing. One day I'll get me a proper weapon. Come on, Garrett, really? Ain't that incapable of staying on a platform? I feel like he should be able to make this jump. But, yes. <sighs> this bloody leather's cracking. Useless. Cost a fortune, too. Now we can climb down behind. Oh, come Sounded on. Strange. Normally, Garrett only detaches from the wall if I hit the jump button, but not this time. Just when I thought I finally had it. Nope. I needed to be fucked with once more. So it goes. This might be an easier way to make the jump anyway. Why, yes. Yes, it is. thing. Uh, one day I'll get me a proper weapon. Later, bro. To Aldale. Yes, indeed. To Aldale. Garrett will talk when we first spawn in there, because it's a new area. This is Aldale, one of the richest districts of the city, where high society types take strolls in the park or visit the museum with all their leisure time. Every thief in town knows there's plenty of wealth and bubbles to be stolen among the opulence. Only a few know how to get at it, but I've got other things on my mind. It's not enough that every keeper in the city is trying to kill me, but now there's a mysterious old woman after me as well. So I've come to Aldale to find Inspector Drept, from what I've heard, he's obsessed with the fable of a murderous hag, and I'm sure there's a connection. I hope he has a lead for me, because if he doesn't, then I'm at a dead end. And so we arrive in Aldale, and I'm going to take a little break from recording, because I need to familiarize myself with it find all the goodies, etc. before I try to put it on video, so I will see you all after a practice run of Aldale at the very least. Bye bye for now. Alright everybody, good news, Aldale's not bad at all. Let's get started. There are no enforcers in it, that's why. We're lucky to have him, with Inspector Drept taking offices so close, should keep the riffraff at bay. I haven't noticed any difference in the level of riffrafferty. In fact, I don't feel safe walking down my own street. And Wilson says there's an absolute throng of pagans that have taken over the park. Throng, really? Is he sure it's pagans? Maybe they're just, you know, shabby. Either way, when's the last time you enjoyed a stroll through the Aldale Public Gardens, hmm, Lady Cafferty? Well, just the other... Hmm, was it... I'm sure I recall it wasn't too, too long ago. Hmm... So much for your Inspector Drept keeping us all safe. Really, Oscar? You poo-poo everything. Besides, I really do feel safer. I'll wager you only feel safe when you're in the pub, considering the Inspector's workshop is right near there. Am I right? Tut-tut. The discussion is over. So let's look at the map of Aldale. 
Here we are at the exit to Old Quarter, which is the only connection to this district. North of here is the plaza. This is the Bradshaw Memorial. And this is the goldsmith shop. I'll talk to you about that a little bit later. Here to the southeast, we have a fence who... He's not that big a deal. He's hard to get to, so I'm not going to bother with him because there's a guard staring right at him. But he will buy metal and artwork, where Dahlia in the docks buys gems and artwork. He can't actually get into the pub. It's just there as a landmark to find Drept's office. To the north of there, in the east of Aldale, is the park, which has been taken over by the pagans, as the symbol indicates. In the very northeast corner is the museum, which is the last mission of the game, and it's a big letdown after the cradle, I'm not going to lie. And here is the pump house, with a little creek running through everything. Let's head... Let's head south first. This is the crime report, which currently has nothing, since we haven't been to Aldale yet. Thankfully, <coughs> no enforcers means nobody panicking just because we exist. First things first, if you climb the wall behind these two, head over to the entrance, which I promise Garrett can do, he just has trouble sometimes. Right above the passage to Old Quarter is a gas arrow. Aldale is absolutely loaded with gas arrows, it's nuts. Serving poached fish. Uh, the last cornerstones and rust mites are also in Aldale, although you cannot get the last rust mite yet. I must remember not to invite the to the mid-season gala. Next, you'll want to climb up this building, right across from the entrance to Old Quarter. It's another trouble, it's troublesome one sometimes, but once you manage it, make sure you climb up behind this chimney. In the back corner of this roof is another gas arrow. It's quite invigorating Now we can head back down to street level. Aldale is remarkably empty. Maybe it's just because there's only the one way in. But as you head south, the torch has a fire arrow in it. And then, up these stairs, you can, on the crate, find two broadhead arrows. And in addition to that, behind the boxes is the first Aldale Rust Mite. He should be the 13th Rust Mite overall. <laughs> now, you see the drunk guard there? He's actually a pretty big problem, because he's facing an area we need to cross, but... You're going to want to roll up on the cart here, use it as hardcover, and grab the oil flask out of it. That, that'll that cause the cart to move. There's not much you can do about that. And now, I find it... We want to take this entrance to the uh, pagan zone. The other one's impossible to get through unless you're allied with them, so... Let's... Get on this thing, first of all, and then I prefer to get on the wall and just crawl, creep over that way. Across from here is the fence, who will buy metal and artwork, if you have any reason to visit him. I would wager you wouldn't. And then... If you climb down to this tiny little edge, you can get around the corner, which is a good thing to do because you can then... Be's a private place. Be's not for you. She says that... Oh, she... She makes that remark as a proximity trigger. I've never actually alerted her moving in and out of this entrance, which is good. Otherwise, I have no freaking idea how I'd get into the pagan area. So, let's just try and be nice and quiet. And then wait here for the patroller to leave. Once you're inside the pagan area... There you go. 
goes. He gets hung on the cocoon. He can have trouble getting around it. He's supposed to walk around out past the pub, and I'm confident he will eventually. In the meantime, let's read this note. Leafers and vines grow her more quicksy bees you feeder them with the saps and bones of man fools. So let's head over here first. If you head upstairs in here, you hear a sleeping pagan already. On the ledge next to the window is a copper coin worth 25. If you creep around where homeboy is sleeping, you can find a copper nugget worth 50 and a copper bowl worth 100. There's also a new note. Larkspur, I bees have heard another visioning of them abomination. It bees has a lair in them canals. But I bees thinker that if the water level bees kept high, then us pagans will bees not stumbling into its den there. Bees you must sealing off the pump house, and warn all pagans to staying away from theirs. Why bees this abomination in my visionings when it bees them hammerheads we fightings? I wishering that Victoria comes ye back to leading us. My thoughts bees ungreen and troubling, Diane. Well, sorry about that, folks. The game crashed again in spectacular fashion. Let's reload the quick save. Assuming it worked properly, I should be stuck to the wall right under the sleeping pagan. In the Aldale Park. Okay, that works too. Over here... We've got another note to read on this bench over to the left. Diane, here bees my reportings. Twelve bees were lost in them old quarter, five bees lost in them docks. Them hammerheads more strongsy than we thinkered. We bees needing helping, Daisy. And there's the reason that the other entrance to this territory is unusable. I think the guy works the same way. I think he's just a proximity alert, but... This stationary guard staring right at the entrance ensures that... Uh-oh. Hmm. Bees that thing again. Hmm. Uh, let's read the note right quick, just to have it read. Now, I want to get the broadhead arrows off this bench from over here, but... There we go. Can't have the second one do that weird disappearing act that it pulled just then. I need to watch out for the patroller at the cocoon. Need to get the moss arrow from this bush. And now, I find it best to climb back up here. Oh, maybe not. There's no way off of the wall up there. I guess I hadn't thought of that. I want to... This guy is supposed to patrol away, so let's skip that green alert and see if he does. Alrighty. Let's try and just do a better job sneaking behind that patroller. Oh, his back is turned. Perfect. Now we'll creep through here, sticking to ground level this time. This spits us out right near the gal we already saw. In fact, maybe it would be better to approach this from out there, too. But... Dang it. 
Yeah, I figured I should have stuck with that approach anyway. So let's move out so we're behind her again. He still hasn't managed to get free of the cocoon. Seems to be a big problem for him today, but it's not that big a problem for us, thankfully. Okay. So let's get him behind her, mantle onto the bench, and climb the wall. Should be able to do all of that undetected. Then you need to creep to the left. I like to grab them from up here. There's a ruby goblet. Maybe it's just a jade goblet. I don't know. And a silver knife on the ledge, which you want to grab before you get on it, otherwise you'll knock them around. Three broadhead arrows, and then inside a junk bowl is a ruby worth 125. That's it. It's time to leave the pagan area now. I do wait. I say that some bustling. Uh, Garrett mm, detached from the wall before I wanted him to. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. There we go. Good. Now I need to get past this guy and get all the way out. This would be easier if he could get past the cocoon like he's supposed to. It seems like he's not going to be able to, so I'll just wait till his back is turned and then dart out behind him. Like so. Now I should be able to get clear of this gal with just without alerts. Then we need to move over to this window and we'll watch the cutscene where Garrett talks to Drept. This place hath nothing of value for thee to steal. I'm more interested in those papers of yours. If they can tell me anything about a, a crone that talks to statues. Thou hast seen the hag? Not just seen. She tried to kill me. But I hear you've been trailing her for years. Yea, I hath followed her trail, but it hath not been clear. I hath even doubted anon that her crimes were more than my own imaginings. Thou hast seen her as well. Twas in my boyhood, in the orphanage known as the Shalebridge Cradle, that I spied her. I did play at a game with mine friend, and I was hidden, and my friend sought me. Then a hag, a bent in evil apparition, came from the darkness, near enough to touch, and my friend did scream. But I was a child, and and afraid, and then it was over. The orphanage grew a dark and haunted place, and now none dare enter. When came I to my manhood, and was saved by the order of the hammer, I sought the hag again. The hag wears death about her as a cloak. Some who meet her doth vanish, others perish with bloody work done upon their bodies. There are hints spoken of creatures made of stone, and ever the tale of a hag, a bent old woman, ever old, but grown no older, in a span that hath taken me from boyhood to mine own age. And you tell me how to find her? She finds her prey now in Aldale, but was in Shalebridge her murders didst begin. Seekest thou a start upon her trail there? 
Tis the only place I had there spied her for certain, but I dare never return to that place. That's a good place to start looking. I have no interest in being the latest in her string of murders. So that completes our objective. Find Inspector Drept in Aldale to learn about the hag who set a trap for you in Keeper Compound. Enter Drept's workshop through the window. And... Da, da, da. Go to the Shale Bridge Cradle to see what you can learn about the hag. The cradle is in Old Quarter near the gate to the docks. I don't think we get any new notes, no. So with that done, I'll save. We still have to clear the rest of Aldale, but it's really not bad, I promise. We do need to get past the Watchman again, and the way we came is not an option. By the way, across from him, right here near Drept's window, is the first Aldale cornerstone. That should be the 13th cornerstone overall. It's really pretty simple. You just want to climb up to the very top of this wall, and then out to the edge, as far as Garrett can go, and then get to the next wall in, climb to the very top of it, then crawl out as far as Garrett can go. Now these maneuvers give me some trouble. They take uh, multiple tries, but you can attach to the wall around the corner, usually without any real problems. Now, just because I'm here, I'll go ahead and creep over and show you guys the other fence. He's a dude. Didn't tell me his name. Ah, Garrett. It's been a long time. So long, in fact, I was sure you were dead or rotting in a cell somewhere. I guess I should have remembered how resourceful you are. Anyway... I suppose the polite thing to do would be to say hello, wouldn't it? Yes, I think we can do business. So we'll sell him our metal and artwork, and then we really basically just have to do the same thing on the other side. Get up top and creep our way around with the climbing gloves. You could do this on the way in too, but the other way is easier. And that's, you know, why I prefer the other way on my way in. Okay, let's do this. Okay, yeah, you have to crawl, climb under this window. And we're out. We're ready to tackle the other half of Aldale. So... That's worth a real save, too, frankly. As you move up here... to Aldale Plaza... the first thing to note, that pickpocket's procedurally generated. Over under that sign that says Aldale Plaza is the second Aldale Cornerstone. It's the 14th Cornerstone overall. We need to hit the Goldsmith Shop first, which is on this side. While we're up here, you can get a broadhead arrow on this pillar, and in the torch you can get a fire arrow. Now, there's a note on the door that says, Attention, Fogarty's Goldsmithery is closed until I say so. Signed, the new management, Jimmy the Knife. So let's creep over here. Because... Jimmy is gonna talk to Fogarty. <laughs> but 
Why? Why? I can't even get into my own shop. Oh, man. Yeah. You want a mantle up behind them like that, you just have to time it better than I did. But why? Why? I can't even get into my own shop. Yeah, about that. See, I decided it ain't your shop no more. It's mine. I can scrape can't it do nobody. that. I'll go to the city watch. I have friends in high places. <laughs> Sure, go tell your friends about how you sold me fool's gold. They'll be really extra special interested in that part. Are you sure you want your friends checking on the things you sold them over the years? Well, I, uh, the nerve of your insinuation. Still, I don't see you running out the door to tell the city watch. I could repay you. It would just take me a few days, gather the cash. It's too late for that. Besides, it's more than just a money scene. I gotta make an example of you. Just so as everyone knows they can't mess with Jimmy the Knife. Well, I'll just go to my shop then and remove those boards myself. Sure, you could try to play it that way. But if I Even see an you officer doing, of the watch, I'm gonna have to kill you. Kill me? You, back. you! You're the one who deserves to die! That almost sounded like a threat, Fogarty, you worm. Don't make me make an example out of you. Now scram. So that gives us a note. You might have noticed I pickpocketed Jimmy the Knife for a key, and I grabbed the broadhead arrow in front of the Bradshaw Monument. That gives us a note that says, Fogarty the Goldsmith can't open his shop back up as long as Jimmy the Knife is still alive. Jimmy the Knife is usually lurking in Aldale Plaza. The game wants to force us to kill Jimmy the Knife in order to reopen the Goldsmiths, but... You should know that's not how we roll. We're ghosters, not murderers. So, uh, there is another way in. Just get to the other side of the creek, climb up here, head to the left. Garrett can cross all the way over. Climb down. Open this grate. And lo and behold, we can get into the goldsmith's shop. If you kill Jimmy and leave Aldale and come back, the front door is open and Fogarty is in here behind the counter. But it's e even easier to rob this way because now the place is empty. So I just already grabbed the cat statuette out of the chest. It's worth a hundred, but I'll still pick the chest open just because. Now on the desk, we have a note. Lord Bafford, greetings to you. I hope your gout is coming along nicely. Anyway, I seem to have run into a bit of financial trouble, and since we have such a good business relationship, a friendship really, I feel I can come to you for help. I think 2000 ought to do it. Hopefully Samuel Fogarty. And then as we... Six stage gold locks, the hardest locks in the game. Open this door. Head out here, you can get a diamond necklace worth only worth a hundred, a copper urn worth a hundred, a gold bracelet worth a hundred twenty-five, gold knife worth seventy-five, gold fork worth seventy-five, and a diamond goblet worth a hundred fifty. Very rich score, all things considered. Two more notes to read. The Grimalkin Tabby. The exquisite cat statuette is turquoise with emerald inlay for eyes. Please inquire for price. And then, on the chair, Sir Rawlings, greetings to you. I hope your rheumatism is coming along nicely. Anyway, I seem to have run into a bit of financial trouble. And since we have such a good business relationship, a friendship really, I feel I can come to you for help. I think 2000 ought to do it. Hopefully Samuel Fogarty. So the poor goldsmith is just desperate. So let's close the door, open and close the grate. until we get back to the creek and we can climb right back over the fence same way we got in
Now across from here, with the tree blocking the door, is the pump house. There's a rust mite in there, but you can't get it until the pump house is open, which isn't until the next day. So wait until this watchman turns around, move in behind him. I like to get in this alcove right here. Wait until he turns out again. And then get out behind him. Come over to these shadows. Now on the barrel is a single broadhead arrow. Sounded oh my like. gosh, bumped the barrel. Which you can't do. Climb up the wall here, move on to this ledge above those barrels, and find another gas arrow. Like I said, Aldale is lousy with these things. Now we need to get back down to the street level, hopefully without any comments from the guard. Grab this moss arrow well, of and course listen to these died, two. Well, of course they old girl. The two of them didn't have half a brain between them. Exactly my point, Zachary. The mother, now she had a brain and a plan. Women often do. The whole thing was her idea. Trouble is, they were too pea-brained to pull it off. Snuffed out by some security device, of course. But after, they were already inside the museum. Well, if you're game, I am too should be an absolute bundle of fun. I can't wait to outwit a guard. I do hope there'll be guards, but we should do it soon, before the city watch discover that tunnel we found. Really, Zachary? If they haven't found the tunnel yet, there's no reason to think they'll ever find it. No. There's time for more planning before our naughty little heist. You're not going to spoil the fun and go all scaredy cat on me, are you, Amanda? Of course not, Zacky Poo. I just want everything to go perfectly. I mean, there's only one museum, and I don't want to rush in without the right outfit. Quite right, darling. Proper attire. I hadn't thought of that. So when they're done talking, just as an FYI, that is the other entrance to the park where the pagans are. On this corner, you can find the third Aldale cornerstone, which is the 15th and final cornerstone overall. Now, I'm going to wait until I spot the guard, come in and leave again, because I need to get on the wall right here, climb up as high as I can. I had a little trouble with this maneuver, but it works eventually. We just have to do that same thing where we detach and then manage to get into the you know deeper niche. From there, it's pretty simple to climb up. <coughs> oh dang. try again. Perfect. Now hopefully I can just catch this edge. Very good. Creep around on this edge across from the museum entrance, which is what we're looking at now, and in this corner find a gas arrow. I just wait until there's no guard around and then drop down by the cornerstone shouldn't take any damage. 
And we need to creep up behind this stationary guard. Up where our nobles are, and they're helpfully showing us the passage they were talking about. It's right through here. Of course, if we move up behind him, we can see, although it's barred, the sign tells us that this is the Wieldstrom Museum of Arts and Antiquities. Anyway, down here... You, you, you jostled me! There's a grate, which we need to open. We can then attach to this wall with the climbing gloves and climb down into a tunnel. Inside the tunnel, you find the second Aldale Rustmite. It's the 14th Rustmite overall. All that's left, if you are doing these, is the Rustmite in the pump house. So, there's a copper fork down here, or maybe it's a knife, which is worth 25. And there's a note to read. All right, boys, here's your lunch. You can't go robbing the Wieldstrom Museum on an empty stomach. I ain't worried. You got the tunnel dug real good. Make some other proud. Remember, once you're inside, you have to watch out for all them fancy safety gadgets they got. Anyway, eat up and good luck. Hugs, ma. Now, d farther down the tunnel, there's a broadhead arrow on top of the crate. And inside this chest... It's just a silver four-stage lock. You can find two explosive mines and another note. The Big Museum Heist Master Plan by Ma Graham. So, it'll be just the two of you. Use the tunnel, right boys? But see, it's gotta be after dark. Wait for the day shift to head home for the night, then sneak in. Avoid the night guards. They move around a lot, taking breaks and such. If you're lucky, you'll catch them sleeping. Stay away from them newfangled security machines they got. They'll fry you like an egg. When you see a good-looking exhibit, nab it. When you start getting tired, that means your bags are full and it's time to come on home. I'll have the supper waiting. That's it. Aldale is clear, so we just need to get back to Old Quarter. And to the Shalebridge Cradle. So let's climb up out of here, make sure we close the grate behind us. Let's creep down the stairs once again. Drunkards, all of them. And cowards too. If I were kept, I never think it took around here to stay. Ah! Oh. Found you! I thought it was past this, this one, easy. sorry. That's probably smartest just to wait until I see him and then time my movements to be certain I'm behind him. Sounds like he's on his way anyway. That was close. But we made it in there without any alerts. Alright, good. Well, the watchman's walking away. We can just cut up next to the goldsmiths. Get around him over here. Head right back down these stairs. And out to Old Quarter. Awesome. See you there. Alright, almost there. Just have to figure out how to get past our pal here going the other way, which may actually be tough, now that I'm looking at it. Unless I can get up here. What to do, what to do. 
Sounded strange. Yeah, I knew that'd be trouble. Oh, I forgot to quick save once I was through. No worries. Just yet another iteration of the load screen. Too old quarter. Alright, let's try again to get past our buddy. Let's give him his own quick save. Maybe that'll make him feel special. Anyway, he pivots like that. Maybe I can get by him over here when he pivots to the left. Doubt Bloody about. hell! Yeah, I didn't what think so. Didn't think so. Maybe we can climb up right here. Yeah, all this for a few coppers a week. That'd be that easy. Here. My time's gotta be worth a bit more than that. Not to mention putting my life on the line every night. Now if only we could get to the edge from here. That I doubt, but we might be able to get onto these pipes. No. Maybe we can get onto the other wall. Okay, we got onto the pipes. Which will maybe let me jump to the edge. I sure hope so. Yes. Good. That brings me right over here. Did I just hear something? Oh, uh, well. Gotta do a little bit better. Getting to the edge is a big step. It, you know, I'm out from behind him now. That's the main thing. All right, good. Let's head over to the docks now. Although, you know, we're not actually going to the docks. This guy tried to atta attack me on sight last time I was over here. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. Or, you know, even if it does, it's not that hard to sneak past him, I guess. Alright, very good. And, you see the mission marker right next to the sh sign saying Shale Bridge Cradle, which means we have arrived. That's it for Day 7, Perfect Thief in Day 7. I will see you next time for Robbing the Cradle. Until then, bye bye